Okay, okay, this is a pickup from the mini video that you just saw. I'm starting over again. And uh, we are back here at the southern end of the Temple Mount complex. I'm down in the archaeological area known as the David's, Davidson Center. Merkaza Mevakrim, the visitor center near the Ophel ruins, which taper down from the back end of the Temple Mount complex, and it tapers down the hill toward Ir David, toward the city of David. I am actually inside of the walls, inside of the walls of the old city, and on the other side of uh, those walls would be the Dung Gate, the Dung Gate that leads out to the Kidron Valley, also known as the Valley of the Kings, the Valley of Yehoshaphat. So this area, you guys, is very ancient, very, very ancient. Look at these Herodian stones. Look at the size of these blocks, you guys. These are singular blocks. These are Herodian stones, and you can tell because they are squared off and tapered on the edges to fit. All right, and here, I just stepped into a time machine because I'm standing on ancient footing before the time of Christ, before the time of Christ. This is all modern here, right? So we're walking toward the back side of the southern end of the Temple Mount. Hello. And now, this is a treasure, you guys, a true treasure, because right here, the caved-in walkways, the collapsed flooring, this area has been left exactly as it was after the time of the Roman siege. Most of the rubble that you see down here at the base of the walls were once up there on top of the back end of the Temple Mount complex. Up there is the Al-Aqsa Mosque on the southern end. And the little indentation that you see sticking out over here is the remains of what was called Robinson's Arch. It was a big Roman archway at one point. These are ancient, ancient ruins of old homes. old shops. This is a section of what was known as the Cardo. The Cardo, right? Sounds like heart. Cardiology, right? It was a main walkway that went all the way through Jerusalem in multiple directions. But I want to show you something that even though this is only a replica, I don't know if my camera is going to pick this up, but I'm going to try a little trick that a tour guide once showed me. You can take a bottle of water and you can pour it, excuse me for a second. You can pour it on this stone. They took the actual piece, and of course it's in a museum, right? But right here is a replica of a piece that fell down from the Temple Mount and the carvings that were on it. They made an exact replica of it, right? Usually pouring on water on it helps you to see it a little bit better. I don't know if you can pick it up or not. I hope you can, but it says, um, Levetat Tkia'ah. It's the house of the trumpet blowers. It was a piece of a porch, a piece of a porch that fell once again from up there during the Roman siege. 
during the Roman siege. And here, this little placard uh, explains it. It says, among the collapsed stones was one, its replica displayed here, which bore a Hebrew inscription to the place of trumpeting to, in the second temple days, this stone probably marked the place at the top of the southwest corner of the Temple Mount, where the trumpeter announced the inauguration and the close of Shabbat. Yeah. So again, there it is. Le Vet Lamed Bet Yod Tav Le Vet Hatkia Hatkia Le to the house of the trumpets trumpeter. Hello, how are you? Okay, so, yeah, really, really glad. This, this is the nerdy part of things that I really enjoy. So I'm really glad I was able to get in here to show you guys this place. This stretch of the Cardo, or the heart, continuous walkway that went all the way through the city at one point, uh, used to have marketplaces. These are the little uh, Dukhan or uh, spaces stalls rather and again this my friend these are all this is all ancient flooring that I'm standing on right now this flooring all of this flooring goes back to the time of Yeshua all his Talmudim and before him and this hole in the floor all of this this hole in the floor is caused by stones falling from the top of this we are now directly underneath the leftovers of Robinson's arch. And again, you can see the hole in the floor left from the massive stones falling during the Roman siege. So I am supposed to be, you guys, on the other side of the city right now. My friend Jeanette just called me and I'm supposed to meet her, her dad, and a couple of her friends, one of which is an acquaintance of mine. Because uh, I think I've met her once. And I have a long way to go, so I'm going to run up out of this space. But again, I just wanted to give you a grand idea of the scale of destruction that took place. These stones are huge, guys. And these are not full stones. These are fragments of stones that fell. All right? Fragments of stones that fell from way up there. I'm way up there. And that is the walkway that takes you up onto the temple platform. We've been up there. <laughs> yeah, we ain't lost nothing else up there. We're not heading back that way. Okay, so I'm gonna have to close this video now so I can start running. I gotta get back up through security, up to the Jaffa Gate, run back into the city center, and get to Hillel Street. Yeah. So yeah, she just tried to call and cut into my video. All right, so I'm out of here, you guys. I'll see you shortly. Shalom. She just keeps trying. Okay, until the next time. Shalom.